hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you are a compassionate caregiver looking for exciting opportunities in canada then this video is for you we'll be exploring a remarkable pathway to canada for caregivers without a university degree canada is actively seeking international caregivers like you my husband will be explaining in detail how you can apply to this exceptional program as an international care worker, the eligibility criteria, and different platforms where you can find different opportunities as a caregiver. This pathway does not only lead to permanent residency, but it also provides a fulfilling career path in the field of caregiving, opening doors to caregivers from all around the world to embark on a new chapter with their families in Canada. So whether you're an experienced caregiver looking for a fresh start or you're someone who's always dreamt of making a difference in the lives of others, right? Then this video is your gateway to an inspiring caregiving journey in Canada. So sit back, relax, and let's explore these opportunities together. But before we continue, if you're seeing my beautiful face for the first time, you are welcome. My name is Ami. I'm a content creator and I have a lot of videos on immigration. Whether you want videos on visas, conferences, studying abroad, scholarship, jobs abroad, any kind of video that has to do with immigration, right? You will find them on my channel. Please subscribe to my channel for more informative videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend it to others. Please share my videos with your friends and your loved ones and keep watching. Hello guys, you welcome to Immigrate with Ami. Today we want to talk about an exciting opportunity for those who are interested in immigrating to Canada as permanent resident. And in this video, we'll be reviewing this particular pathway that holds a lot of potential for people who are interested in Canada's immigration programs. In this video, our main focus will be to assess this application pathway against the selection criteria that has been set by Canada Immigration. So I'm going to be telling you about this pathway, what are the eligibility criteria and how can you position yourself for the opportunities that are available if you want to use this pathway. So just to give you a rough idea of the opportunities that are available for this pathway, in 2023 alone, Canada Immigration has a plan to accept 2,750 applications in each of the two categories which means a total application of 5,500. So that gives you an idea of the huge potential that is available right here. And you can key into this pathway to achieve your Canada immigration dreams. So guys, we are talking about two pathways, which is more or less two in one pilot programs that are being run by Canada immigration. So the two of them are actually related because it has to do with care providers okay so the first one is for those who are into home child care provider and the second one is for home support workers so in this video we're looking at the eligibility criteria in terms of education official language proficiency and the work experience that is required for you to actually apply under this pathway so we'll be starting with the educational requirement for this pathway. So if you're interested in applying either for the home child care provider or the home support worker, then you must have either a Canadian one-year post-secondary education credential or its foreign equivalent. So what that means is that if you studied outside of Canada, you would need to carry out what they call a credential evaluation with one of the educational credential assessment bodies in Canada. So if you have a foreign credential, okay, the educational credential assessment report must indicate that the credential is equivalent to a completed Canadian one-year post-secondary or higher educational credential. 
it must be less than five years old on the date of the application received okay so basically if you have previously completed your educational credential assessment as long as it's less than five years old then you can still use that credential assessment report so let's move on to the home child care provider pilot and home support worker pilot language requirement when we are talking about canada immigration there is also a language requirement either in english or french the applicant must demonstrate that they have attained a language proficiency of level five in the canadian language benchmark okay for each of the four language skills area that is in reading in writing in speaking and in listening so along with their application the applicant are required to also submit the result of an english or french language test from a designated testing organization and this test result must be less than two years old at the time of application in addition to this criteria that we have mentioned above there is also a requirement for the applicant to have the qualifying work experience and other additional requirement which is important for this immigration pathway okay now there are two categories of applicant that can apply for this pathway the first category are people who already have a canadian work experience so in theory this immigration pathway requires at least 12 months canadian work experience but what happens is that even if you don't have a canadian work experience that doesn't make you ineligible for this immigration pathway so they have actually created a solution for people who do not have the required 12 month experience of working in canada okay and we're going to be focusing on such category of applicants okay? applicants who are otherwise eligible but who do not yet have 12 months of qualifying canadian work experience at the time of the application for permanent residence will receive what they call the OROWP and I'll be telling you exactly what that means. This OROWP actually means Occupation Restricted Work Permit. Okay, So this is a type of work permit which makes an eligible person to work for any employer but the job in which the person must work will be specified. Since this is a pathway that is related to people either in childcare or home care then if you get this type of work permit that means you are only able to work either as a child caregiver or in the area of home support so for those who do not yet have a canadian work experience that they can use to apply directly as permanent residents under this immigration pathway the solution for them is that they would actually need to get a job offer and then work as temporary workers with a work permit for a period of 12 months after which they will be eligible to now apply for their permanent residence okay so the idea is that if you get a job offer and within 36 months of the approval of this work permit you would need to prove that you've gathered at least 12 months of authorized work in canada and you can use that work experience to now apply for your permanent residence and i think this is actually an exciting news because within 36 months which is equivalent to three years of getting this work permit they would have been able to gather at least 12 month work experience in either of the two areas and they can use that 12 month work experience in canada to directly apply for for permanent residence with respect to the job offer for people who do not yet have a canadian work experience you need to be mindful of the knock code that is required for each of the two pilot programs so for the home child care provider pilot you would need to get a job under the knock 44100 and under this category people who are foster parents are not actually eligible to apply under the home child care provider pilot for those who are for those who are looking to immigrate under the home support worker pilot please note that the eligible knock code for this category is the knock 44101 okay so it's always important for you to know that because if you get a job offer ensure that the job offer is in the right knock category the employer cannot be an embassy high commission or consulate in canada although not a business 
the employer is required to obtain what they call a CRA business number in Canada. The employer can also include more than one individual, for example, Pat Smith and Jamie Brown, but must constitute one single employer, that is, one single CRA business number. So it's possible for two people to actually give you the job offer, but they must only have one single CRA business number associated with this job offer. The next thing is that the position or the job offer must be outside the province of Quebec. Job offers within the province of Quebec is not eligible under this immigration pathway. Then it must be for a full-time employment. And full-time actually means at least 30 hours of paid work per week. It must be in a home child care provider or home support worker occupation. And of course, it's important that the job offer must be genuine and likely to be valid when the applicant is issued the initial work permit. And by genuine, they, are, they have some criteria that, that they will actually use to check if the job offer is genuine. One exciting thing about this pathway is the fact that you can actually get a job offer from someone who is related to you in Canada. So let's imagine that you have an uncle in Canada or a cousin who is in need of a child caregiver or a home support worker, that person can give you a job offer even though you guys are related, okay? The only thing is that the conditions required by Canada Immigration must be met in that job offer. So even if it's a relative that is extending a job offer to you, it doesn't mean that you would not be eligible to immigrate as a permanent resident in Canada. The only thing that they want to find out is if the job offer meets the requirement that they have set for this particular immigration pathway, okay? And they have a lot of ways to assess whether a job offer is genuine. One of the ways that they will check if the job offer is genuine is that if the job offer is consistent with the reasonable needs of the employer. So imagine that your cousin or your uncle is giving you a job offer to come in as a child caregiver or a home support worker, what they will check is if that person actually has need for that particular job offer. The second thing is that whether the pay that is attached to that job is aligned with the prevailing wage in the province or territory where the work will be carried out. The next thing is they will check whether the terms of the offer are terms that the employer is reasonably able to fulfill. So imagine that the employer says he or she will be paying you a particular amount of money per month. They would need to check if the employer has the means to make that payment to you on a monthly basis. And then they will also check whether the employer has a genuine need for a caregiver. For example, proof of a school age child, expected delivery date of a newborn child, or a person with medical needs in the home. They will also check whether the employer has the financial ability to pay the wages specified in the job offer. So they will check that job offer against all of these criteria before they can agree that this is a qualified job offer. But if that person is a family member, it doesn't mean that they can't actually give you a job offer in Canada, which is one of the great benefits that is attached to this immigration pathway. So the next thing is I will be showing you guys quickly where you can actually find jobs in these two categories in Canada. Okay, So I've made a list of some platforms where you can actually check for jobs either as a child caregiver or as a home support worker in Canada. So guys, I've made a list of some platforms where you can find jobs as qualified home support worker or home child care provider in Canada okay so we can start from the general job platform which actually has jobs in all of the provinces in Canada and then we will move for some provincial specific platforms in Canada so you can find such jobs of course on Canada Job Bank which is the platform where you can find most job opportunities in Canada then you can also check out Workopolis which is also another great platform where you can find these categories of jobs also check Simply Hired, which is one of the best platforms to also get this kind of job. And of course, you can check Indeed Canada. Now, if you are talking about provincial platforms, which host jobs in certain provinces in Canada, you can start with Sask Jobs, where you can find jobs in Saskatchewan. You can also check out Alice Alberta for jobs in Alberta. And you can search 
BC jobs for jobs in British Columbia. And just to give you the job opportunity in these two categories in Canada, okay? So, for example, if you are looking for a job as a personal support worker or, you know, home support jobs in Canada, on Job Bank alone, there are at least 1,333 current job openings in this area. So that gives you a lot of opportunities and you can see the job opportunities according to each of the provinces in Canada right here. Of course, there are other platforms as well, but I'm just giving you an idea of how much of these opportunities are available on Canada Job Bank. So guys, we've been talking about this immigration pathway that has a lot of benefits. In fact, in 2023 alone, there are 5,500 opportunities for this immigration pathway. So either you want to apply as a home child care provider. So they have a specific pilot program for that, which is still ongoing. And secondly, you can also apply under the home support worker pilot program as well. Both of them offers pathways for Canada immigration depending on your category if you already have the qualified Canadian work experience or even if you don't have a qualified Canadian work experience. And we are sharing this information with you. We have put the relevant links in the video description. Make sure you check out that link, especially the job platforms where you can get job in any of these two categories and you can apply for those jobs if they are in your area of expertise. Thank you so much guys for watching and have a lovely day.